Hey YouTubers, it's Tracer Man Extreme here, and in today's TDU2 news video, um, we are going to be talking about the TDU2 server status right now. Both things are down at the moment. More on that in a minute. Um, as we all know, TDU2 is plagued. It released in 2011, and it's also my favorite game. Um, the servers have been down for a few days now on PC, and they're just absolutely unreliable. And I also just checked. And the PS3 is down as well. I just checked it like five minutes ago. Not even. And it's sad because I thought it was going to work. And I noticed that the clock was moving. And I noticed that my real name was my profile name. And it was just kind of sad um, that I think TDU2 is literally dying off. Um, hopefully... When we get more details about TDU3 or the successor to TDU2, hopefully when we get more details about that, we will know if the servers are staying down because they will most likely turn those servers off and, well, in TDU2. If you want to see the current PC status, well, it was actually featured in my live stream, Down. Uh, be sure to check that out, by the way. It was a pretty fun live stream, but I was very stressed out in it. So if that negativity feeds off onto you, um, I understand. Uh, I've just been very stressed out today. Um, and some of the effects that this is going to have right now is you cannot play your game, one, and you don't have access to online. And the whole idea of the game was to make it online, and they did a good job with it when it worked. But on top of that, if you put five days into your game, for example, you just wasted five days of your life because you can't even access it right now. So something that I have done to kind of get around this with the PC version is I went and put the save data that I found um, on some site. It was in a RAR file. And I basically set up something where the TDU2 save data that it boots off of is never like replaced completely by this offline data. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I have both of my online datas in, a, in one folder and I have an online and an offline kind of paired together but I put those in the offline game. So I have my online stuff and I have my offline stuff in two different folders and whichever one I want to play on, I just simply copy and paste it into the one that TDU2 boots off of. It's a great strategy to be able to maintain multiple profiles at once and to be able to just automatically load in to the game. Um, one problem is if you just dump it in with your online stuff is that it may not even show up. You have to pro you have to like go in and like mess with stuff and get the game to recognize that you're trying to use this data that it's not recognizing at first. Um, I don't know too much about it because I haven't really messed with it, but that's what I've done and I think it works great. Like I said earlier, the uh, PS3 clock was working because it was in offline mode. Well, I'm hoping that they will come back with the clocks working and we can all have our, you know, fun on one of the best racing games I think has ever been made, arguably, arguably, just because of the hook that it has and the fact that I've been playing it since 2013. I've been playing it longer than I've been playing Grand Theft Auto. Heck, I've been playing TDU2 longer than I've had Minecraft for the PS3 because by several months I've had it longer because I bought it in August 2013 and Minecraft came around in February 2014. So that's my prediction on what I think will happen, what I hope that happens. It doesn't even have to be a, a correct prediction. I just hope it does. And here on the Racerman Extreme channel, um, I want to make it a little more known that I like the game, so I promise to keep everyone updated, and I'm not going to spam out uploads because things are constantly going on and off. When I find a stable pattern, then I will make a new video and hope it takes off and gets spread around, but I don't want them to go out of date so quickly because the servers did go on and then go right back off and on and back off and on and back off, and... At this point, we don't know what's happening. It could be testing. It could be restoration. It could be 
someone's DDoSing maybe. I mean, who knows? No one knows what's going on. I have no source for this information. This is literally just off my observations. But when I find a steady pattern, I will put out a video to let everyone know that there is a stable pattern and I think that the servers are back. And if you enjoy that kind of uh, approach at it, be sure to drop this video a like. Um, it really does help me out as, as a small YouTuber. And I do apologize that there is Grand Theft Auto V gameplay in the background. I just don't have any TD2 gameplay available. Anyway, be sure to subscribe if you are interested in finding out what happens with uh, Test Drive Unlimited 2 on the PS3 or PC. And thank you for watching this video and have a great day.